ICT Technologies. We're also confronted by uh, the undeniable, I would say, uh, prospect that we are not going to be able to deal as a world with this volume of data and this complexity of data without applications based on artificial intelligence. There is too much data. There are too much data. Uh, and the data is much more complex. It's linguist linguistically much more diverse. Uh, and <clears throat> we can go a certain distance and have all gone a certain distance with conventional <coughs> ICT technologies. It's very unlikely that we're going to be able to deal with all of this without uh, relying on artificial intelligence based applications uh, in the future. So it's really, I think, extremely timely that we uh, hold this discussion amongst all of the member states uh, and uh, the International Bureau to see uh, how we can uh, use ICT and the newer applications of ICT, AI, big data, analytics, uh, and blockchain, for example, to confront some of these challenges that are very obvious to us all uh, in the field of intellectual uh, property. As we embark upon what is likely to be a second wave of ICT applications based on the newer technologies, artificial intelligence, uh, principally, but big data <coughs> analytics, uh, blockchain, for example, uh, it's very timely to consider how we can better cooperate uh, internationally. Cooperation will lead to greater efficiencies, it'll lead to a better use of resources, it'll lead to less redundancies, uh, and it will lead also to greater quality. Uh, and a greater quality, first of all, for applicants uh, and users of the intellectual property system because the sharing of data through different applications will give a better information base for uh, users and for the general public in assessing the uh, intellectual property system.